In this video, I'll demonstrate how to do the laboratory exercise server firewalls and router ACLs of the cybersecurity essentials of Cisco. And on this exercise, we'll connect to a web server with HTTP and HTTPS, then configure to prevent unencrypted HTTP sessions, and finally access the firewall on the email server. But before starting, Subscribe to the channel for more videos about Packet Tracer, networking and Cisco courses. Hit the like button if this video helped you and leave a comment if you have any questions about this exercise, about Packet Tracer or Cisco courses. Now let's start doing the exercise. First, go to the Metropolis Bank headquarters network. Open the computer of Sally. Now open the desktop and open the web browser. Now we'll open a website. Write the URL http colon slash slash www.cisco.corp and press go to open the website. And we have opened the website and click login page. Here we have a form to fill and submit. The problem we have with this website it's using the http protocol so the information is not encrypted all the information you fill the name the password the security identifier you send to the web server will not be encrypted so any sniffer on the network or during the traffic until reaching the web server will not be encrypted everyone can see in plain text all this information you fill on the questionnaire so they can sniff the packets and see all the information in plain text of this form. And this is a security problem. So now let's open the website again, but using the HTTP protocol. So we'll erase this and write HTTPS and the rest is the same URL of the web page and press go. We have opened the same web page go to login. Now using the HTTP protocol that is an encrypted, a secure protocol, all the information you fill on the form will be encrypted. When you submit on the website, all the information you send to the server will be encrypted. So no sniffer can decrypt the information. And this is the problem we want to solve, only allowing on this network access to websites using the HTTPS protocol. And we are going to do this on the router. So close the Celis computer and open the router of the network, this gateway. Now open the CLI, the command line interface, press enter. It asks for the password to access the router. The password is Cisco. Press enter. Now we have access to the router. Click enable and then configure terminal. So right, configure terminal. Now we are in config mode. Now we have access to the global configuration to the router and we'll enter the commands to prevent unencrypted HTTP traffic from traveling through the router using ACLs, so access control lists. The first comment write access dash list space 101 space deny space TCP space any space any EQ and 80 and press enter. So this command We'll use this ACL and deny TCP traffic on the port 80, so the HTTP protocol. The web pages will open on the web browser. The second command is access dash list space 101 space permit space IP space any space any and enter. This command will add another rule to this ACL to permit 
and the IP traffic. Now let's configure a specific interface of the router. So let's open just the name of the, the port. Now we want this port gig 0 slash 0. Let's open the router again. Go to the CLI. And we'll choose that interface. So write interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. And press enter. So now we're on config mode of this specific interface that connects the network to the router and write the command IP space access dash group space 101 space in and enter. Now let's write end to exit the configuration mode and let's try to use again the website on Sally's computer. So open the computer of Sally. Let's open the web browser and try to access the web page with the HTTP protocol. So write the URL HTTP colon slash slash www.cisco.corp and press go to open the page. It's taking a while now. Let's wait and we'll get a request timeout. So we could not access this web page with this protocol. But if we try to open the page with the protocol HTTPS, let's try to open the page. It works. The router allows the traffic with the HTTPS, but not with HTTP. With this configuration on the router, no one on the network can access a website with an unencrypted session. So every communication and information on this website or any website will be encrypted. This is very important because the normal user doesn't know the difference between HTTP and HTTPS, doesn't know about security, encryption, and with this configuration on the router, we guarantee that all the communication is encrypted and secured. Now, finally, let's check the email server. So open the email server, open the desktop and open firewall. In here, we can do the same what we did for the router using ACLs to control and add rules to the network configuration of the email like we did on the router, but here we have a graphic interface. So in this firewall, we turn on the firewall, we choose the interface. In this case, there's only one interface, the FA0, so fast Ethernet 0. We choose the action, allow or deny. We choose the protocol. We have several protocols, choose TCP and configure IPs, ports, and then add these rules. So we are creating ACLs, access control lists, for the email server. So the email communication on this network. This is the importance of ACLs in the network. You can configure an ACL in the CLI or in a GUI, a graphical user interface. And this is everything you have to do to this exercise. Now, subscribe to the channel not to miss more videos about Packet Tracer, networking and Cisco courses. Hit the like button if this video helped you and write in the comments if you have any questions about this exercise, about Packet Tracer, networking or Cisco courses. And I will see you on the next video.